Michelle, hey. hey. Hi there. Thank how you so much for having me on. Good, thank you. A wonderful. A wonderful. So appreciate Tom's testimony of all that he shared. That's incredible. Yes, Amazing. well, we can't wait to hear yours and um, of that of your son as well. So take it away, Michelle. Sure. So my husband's coworker kept telling him about these patches, and he would come home and tell me things about them. And um, I didn't really know anything about light energy, even though I've been quite holistic for several years and even in the health and wellness industry. Um, so one day I was just you know, there were some issues in the family I wanted to get taken care of or hopes to, you know, get some, see some improvements in. So I'd reached out to Steve Schwartz and asked him about these patches. And we have two sons, both have attention issues and both have suffered very bad concussions over the years. And our youngest son has been struggling emotionally with extreme impulsivity, as well as behaviorally for half of his life. He's eight years old. So I'd been taking him weekly to therapies in hopes of helping him. And in turn, hopefully we would all have some more peace at home because things at home were quite chaotic with his behavior every day. Would and you it like kept... me to show his picture, Michelle? <laughs> Sorry. Sure, to you you. Picture? Go for it. <laughs> okay, great. Hold on just a sec. I'll share the screen. And his name is Beckett, right? Beckett. Here's Beckett, everybody. Woohoo! <laughs> This is Beckett. He's eight years old. Things kept escalating with him. And so I took him to a child psychologist in May of this year. She tested him extensively for six hours over two days. She diagnosed him as being gifted with attention issues and a strong propensity towards anxiety and depression. Mind you, my brother and mom both are on meds for anxiety. So he just turned eight. I could see all that she saw in her findings. I already, none of that was a real big surprise to me. Um, he showed a lot of negativity also, a lot. Like he was, everything was super negative every single day. So that was really mentally exhausting as well. And a few months ago, um, we finally had some definitive answers. Okay, I need your help, please. Excuse me, he's come in to say hello, apparently. <laughs> what? Okay, please. Okay. Okay. All right. Please go. Please go. Thank you. Shut the door. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. He's very sensitive as well. Um, so anyway, um, sorry for the inter interruption. So a few months in, um, I had also taken him to a functional neurologist and this functional neurologist, um, you know, even though he had been diagnosed as being gifted, had said to me, the frontal lobes of his brain have major function deficits, which means they are not properly firing because of the concussion that he suffered. And those two frontal lobes control impulsivity and emotional regulation. So with that, he'd been hitting, punching, pushing, kicking us at home almost daily and sometimes every day. So this had been going on for a long time. And like I said, it had been getting worse. And we weren't really seeing that great of improvements. And even at his um, functional neurologist appointment, it was quite horrifying to me one day when he actually started like physically acting out to the doctor, which was very embarrassing, especially as a former teacher, of, you know, over 10 years. Um, so within about two weeks of patching him, his physical aggression towards us completely stopped. There was no more physical aggression. And he's also a much happier child, which has been such a blessing, all of that. So the next I wanted to share about my husband, um, he's a skeptic about everything pretty much. And I wasn't even sure if he would wear the patches, but he did. And I asked him after about a week, I said, did you, did you notice anything with patching? And he said, Actually, yes, he had been quite down in the dumps because he had been up for a promotion at work and he didn't, he was really next in line to get the promotion and had done the job before, but they had actually given it to someone else. So he was quite, you know, down in the dumps about it. And he said he noticed that this has made him a lot happier. Um, he wasn't depressed like he had been. So that was really encouraging. And then for myself, I had no idea what these patches would do for me, but over the years, I've had a lot of, um, 
you know, surgeries, health issues, um, autoimmune disease. And I, and of course I was in a lot of stress. I was like super fight or flight mode every day from all my stress at home. And when I went to the functional neurologist about six weeks ago for the first time, he tested my uh, resting heart rate and he said it was like off the charts, like completely off the charts. And I said, I'm not surprised at all because literally every day I'm in fight or flight mode because I'm so stressed out at home, you know, with, with the way things were going. And so, um, but what I noticed the very first day of patching, my stress level went from a 10 out of 10 to a two. And that was day one, which I was amazed. I was blown away by that. And then, um, I actually asked my functional neurologist to test my resting heart rate again. It was probably about two or three weeks after I'd been wearing the patches. And I said, do you mind testing that again? And he said, no problem. And it was actually 20 points less mm. than what had been just like two or three weeks, you know, before I had started patching. So that was pretty incredible. And then, um, let me think what else, a really amazing thing that I was super happy about, especially being like, you know, late forties, I was noticing that I was losing like clumps of hair, like huge clumps of hair in the shower, like 25 to 30 hairs. And day eight, my hair loss improved. Like I was losing 75% less hair, which blew me away. So instead of 25 to 30 hairs, I now am only losing four to six hairs when I shampoo my hair, which is incredible. Then something else I never expected. Um, I had a raised mole on my back and within about two weeks, I noticed it was like getting hard and crusty. And then maybe like five days later, it was completely gone, like totally gone. And, um, so that was pretty profound. And another thing I've noticed, um, like I said, I've had several surgeries over the years, skin cancer surgery, female surgery. So my stomach is, you know, lots of cuts. Um, I never did anything to, to treat any of those really to make the scarring less. But what I've noticed is even the scar on my finger where I had to be stitched like two summers ago, um, pretty much all of my scars, I'm going to say are like 90% to where you can't even tell any surgery ever happened. And that was just, oh, I didn't tell you how long, but we started with the patches I, I was the first one to start before I started with our son and then my husband and then our other son has started just kind of sporadically. But um, I've been using the patches about five weeks now. So same as Tom, ironically. Yes. Amazing. Something about that five week mark with you two. Mm. That's powerful. Fantastic, Michelle. Michelle is about to be a manager uh, in the company and she loves this product and uh, just it's been a blessing to her family as it has to many other families. So thank you for sharing your testimony. Yeah. That was incredible. Yes, How easy you. is it for you to share now, Michelle, right? And Tom, <laughs> I mean, you guys have such powerful, fast testimonies that you can go out and just change so many people's lives. And uh, thank you for, for um, sewing into everybody here tonight and sharing because you never know who else is suffering. Um, and, and we have to herald this message because what we have our hands on, you guys, if you're not hearing it yet, what we have our hands on here is absolutely miraculous, life-changing stuff. Hmm. So thank you, Michelle. That was wonderful. And Tom, too. Thank you both for sharing. Wow. I think that's probably the most emotional I've ever gotten on one of these. Yeah, I'm going to get you a, <laughs> that's a Kleenex right over there. Man, that's, that's tough.